guys welcome back to my channel so if you are new here my name is Vanessa I'm a corporate baddie by day I'm a nurse by night I'm a single mom 365 366 24 7 25 8 okay and it gets real real around here but in other news today is Thursday I'm supposed to be at jury duty today but your girl got out of it in a good way um actually we're supposed to check in the day before after 5 30 p.m to see if we're still needed for the next day and when i checked i actually checked at 9 30 at night and i was praying i was praying hard okay hard i even recruited my best friend to pray with me okay praying hard and it said that my service was complete and i wasn't needed meaning I don't have I didn't have to go okay I got a free day off work and they're not gonna contact me for another two three years so that's in the bag so I decided to use this day as you know self-care day it's usually Friday my self-care day but I decided to do today as a self-care day um, I got the email from my HR department giving me um, training modules to complete for onboarding and I had another email from my um, my department, my emergency department, just welcoming me and telling me, you know, hey, you know, you're gonna have to do the training. We have like two clinical days where it's just skills. Um, some of our, it's basically hybrid with the orientation period. So some things we could do at home, online, some things we're in person for, which I'm also praying it it doesn't conflict with corporate job but we're gonna see how i get out of that because i just know I, I mean one day is okay but like a whole two weeks i don't know i don't know if i could pull that but you know i'm praying i'm praying but they did say that the scrub colors are black red and royal blue so in the middle of the night while I was supposed to be sleeping and I was actually, you know, up, I had ordered a bunch of black scrubs, yes, from Figs, and I ordered one blue, royal blue scrub set. Because I don't know, like, scrubs are scrubs, colors are colors. I've never been in a royal blue or anything, so I don't, and you're allowed to mix match, so I could wear black uh, scrub bottoms with, you know, the red scrub top, and that's fine, but I don't know. I, I'm i pretty sure there's nothing wrong with it. I've just never seen myself in a whole, you know, blue suit, like, you know, looking like a whole blueberry pimp okay like i've never you know i've never so you know and then red um you got me out here looking like a strawberry like you know i don't i don't know i don't know how this is gonna go but things did not have red so i ordered the royal blue and the black and literally that was at 2 a.m and they shipped it they was up because it was like hey you know your order's confirmed and then literally when i got up around 6 a.m they was like hey your order shipped Literally at 9 a.m., 9 a.m., I got an email from Fig saying, hey, we're having a sale, and it was a sample sale. Everything I wanted and I ordered was literally in that sample sale. So to say I was sick, I was sick, okay? But they also, they had red in the sample sale, but it wasn't in, you know, the regular color schemes that they have. So I bought a red scrub set. I think I got two bottoms, one joggers, one regular, and then the scrub top. So I'm complete on scrubs. I'm no longer lacking. And before y'all come at me and be like, you could have went to any other place and got scrubs. Da -da -da -da. I know, I know. I just like figs. Like I got my first pair and I was like, ooh, these are nice. I'm probably sure. I, look, it's just, I'm a baby nurse. Give me some grace, okay? Because I just, you know, that's what I want. Don't come, not too much, not too much, okay? Not too much. But anyway, so today I'm going to go get my nails done. And then I'm going to probably find a Starbucks, get my drink, and I'm going to sit 
and try to complete these training modules. Um, I'm taking, I told you, yeah, I, sh I showed you my ER bag. So I'm taking my ER bag. I'm doing it for a test run today. Um, I told y'all it could fit a laptop. It fits my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Okay, it's in there, it's secured. It's in the pouch, it fits fine. So 13 inch and your iPad, it could fit in there. It's good. I tested it and that's with a cover. You know, mine has a, a case on it. So if you're thinking of getting a Dagny Dover, then this is your sign to get it. Anyway, I'm gonna head out of here. Give me mommy time and I'll talk to you guys later. serious no i had 42 total so i've completed 12 okay and i'm still going this is supposed to be for monday but i'm knocking it out today but god you know what like be so for real right now like i feel like i am back in school doing like random assignments for credit right now like this is a lot and they're not like oh click throughs like these are things that you got to listen to some of them take some of them are literally 30 seconds and some of them are almost 30 minutes it's so crazy right now but i'm gonna push through because your girl is tired tired hey guys good morning good morning it is 6 41 in the morning as you can see i am in scrubs today so jay is the first but second day of orientation first day was yesterday i just had to pick up my badge and other materials um but i have to be at the hospital by eight but i'm gonna leave here probably in the next 15 minutes only because i want starbies and i'm starving so as you know it's a work day so i'm bringing the corporate phone with me um what's in my orientation bag is going to be ah. of course my badge just pick that up um i have this binder clipboard situation going on i bought this from walmart in 2011 this was like my military days but i'm pretty sure they still hold them um this actually holds my two pens black of course a notebook to write in um we have we were given a shot signing sheet to go today and i have to give my manager a copy of my uh my m95 certification and then i have a copy of my schedule for the next two months which is subject to change so i'm just keeping it on just in case i have to change it um i don't think i showed you guys my schedule but if I didn't, I'm going to post it. I mean, it's not bad, but like. And then I'm trying to give grace because um, my, as you guys know, I precepted in the ED before I even got the position. So I know who's in the ED. And my preceptor is actually a nurse who doesn't really do precepting you know she she's just one of those she doesn't do, she doesn't do too well with others but then in the same breath she also complains about teamwork and there's no teamwork um as far as like her duties which is weird because that's not what I experienced but again everybody's experience is different 
so it's going to be interesting um i didn't immediately jump to request a change in preceptor because you're supposed to give people at least you know give them some grace so i actually started saturday on the floor so 7 p.m to 5 a.m is my first one so grace we're gonna see how this goes because i mean we got along it's not like we don't get along but i just didn't i don't feel she she's interested in teaching like you know there's nurses on the floor who just literally teach you everything like my original preceptor i loved her because she allowed me to do everything she didn't oh no you like obviously there's certain things i can't practice as an opium However, she didn't let that deter me. Like, she was like, come, look at this. She was like, you're not supposed to do this, but, you know, this is outside your scope of practice, but she'll show me how to do something. Like, you know? So, it was just really good to know. And I like that about her. But again, you're not always going to get, you know, the perfect preceptor. So, anyway, my child should be waking up right now. So, He's gonna get up. I'm going to spend these next 15 minutes making sure he is a-okay. And then I'm going to head out the door because I really want Starbucks and I'm starving. I did not pack a lunch, so that's on me. I do got snacks, so we just gonna see. Um, I should bring my water. I should do that. Um, yeah, I definitely should do that. So I'm gonna just go get my tumbler, fill it up, and then talk to you guys. All right, guys. So it is post day one orientation. I couldn't film after it happened because I was zooming to my dental appointment. I had a dental appointment at four. We got out at three thirty, but the stars aligned for me. God came through. Because I thought um, at the end of your day one orientation, you know, you go with your unit uh, manager and you, you tour your unit. And ugh, I thought it was going to be after 3.30. So I just knew I was going to be late to the dentist appointment. I mean, it's, it's not a, like, you're probably like, it's a dental appointment, just reschedule it. No, uh, like, I didn't want to. I was supposed to go at 8 o'clock this morning, but I rescheduled it to 4 p.m. Because I was like, oh, I'll be fine without checking the schedule. But I got my days mixed up. Anyway, long story short, it all worked out. All is well. Had a blast. In orientation, my classmates were there, so that was good, too. It was really good information. Um, A lot of death by PowerPoint, but the instructor was lively, like, she didn't read from these slides like she in fact if she put up a slide she'll talk about it she'll look you in the face talk about it and be on a whole nother slide but the slides up and she like oh i'm ahead of my slides and she like had to like go ahead so i really appreciate that and she was very interactive i love that about her um it wasn't too too boring for me so um tomorrow is another orientation day three one, the first day didn't really count, but whatever. Um, you know what? It it counts because I get paid for it. So, anyway. But tomorrow is Wednesday, so orientation day three. I only have to go in for an hour, so I'm going to pop in at corporate job. And um, that'll be day two for me on um corporate job so i need one more day which i'm probably i'm leaving towards it being friday but um i gotta be in scrubs i think i gotta be in scrubs tomorrow i have to read the email because it one of one of the two things was gonna happen if i don't have to be in scrubs it has to be you know in business casual i wear that all the time that's no problem go there do what i need to do go to work um if I have to be in scrubs, then I was going to wear the sh um, the underscrub, probably an all black, and then the black um, straight leg scrub bottoms. And hey, I'm here. Do what I need to do, and I'm going into a corporate job just like that. I'm in all black. I'll probably put my hair down so it doesn't look as dramatic and nursey 
and I have to remember to check off my badge. But I'm I'm only going in for a few hours to make sure everything is okay, nothing has burned down, and they're operating without me, which they did. They did today. So, um, ironically, my my coworker called me in the middle of orientation, and I was like, "Hey!" And he was like, "Oh, you're moonlighting," and I was like, "I am." Okay, he was like, he was like, no problem. He's like, I'm gonna do that tonight too, cause he has a he has another job too. And honestly, I just put his business out there, but I guess I get I get it. But the amount of money that he makes in his job number two, I don't even know why you got it. I mean, I understand why you got the day job, but like, I was I was like, look, if you start a business, think of me. He started he started laughing. I was like, I'm serious. If you expand, think of me because there's a lot of ways to get money out here, and we're not playing about them. But other than that, everything was fine. So fix. So my fix did come today. Um, Y'all know I was talking about that royal blue, and you know, seeing other people, I'm jealous. You know why? Because other floors can wear whatever color they want to. You had the girls walking around in mauve. You had them walking around. I was like, <laughs> no boo. Love. So okay, it don't look it, it don't it don't look too bad. I seen it on people today, and I was like, okay, okay. It's not too, it's not giving blueberry pink, like, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, but that blue, I don't know. But this is the top. It's a different, it's a, um, Raffaella, and it's a, okay. so you see how, like, this top flares? You know what? I might mess around and wear this tomorrow with the black pants because if I got to see if it's giving too scrubby or if I want to be in all black. But you, there's this one, this scrub. What size did I get in this? Because this was big. Thank God. I thought about medium. But this, I mean, it got some breathing room in there, so I'm going to be all right. But still, all my scrubbies are just small currently for now. What is this? Oh, I got the jumpsuit. You know, the jumpsuit might work tomorrow too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's no way. I'm trying to, in my mind, I'm trying to convert these scrubs into something corporate. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, like, this is it. I have to put this on. I feel like... Y'all can't even see the aftermath of this, but we're going to go slow. I'll probably put a video of me trying them on. You know what? Tomorrow, it's only for an hour, so it's probably going to be, you know, this jumpsuit could probably work. It looked long as hell. I might look long. All right. We're going to see because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I got. Also, so I blind bought the um the on clouds. These are the on clouds cloud runner waterproof. Waterproof. Cloud runner waterproofs. Okay. So I blind bought these. So I wore them today. Um, I know in my couple of videos, I said, you know, cloud, cloud is cute. Um, however, after like month three for me in clouds, they wasn't clouding anymore. Like they, they hurt, like not hurt bad, but like, like out on hour eight, I'm, I'm not feeling it. And that could also be because maybe because I'm not wearing compression socks, but my feet don't swell and I'm used to being on my feet all the time because I did this in the military literally I was in steel toe boots for 12 hour days like you know like I've done this before like you know so I'm kind of accustomed to it um but yeah 
them clouds it wasn't clouding anymore so i tried on clouds and today first okay first glance you know first wear um they didn't feel cloud like they call on clouds when i put my foot in them they felt hard okay now don't let this hardness deter you because it's similar to a firm mattress you if you know if you're used to sleeping on like mediocre not mediocre medium or um soft mattresses like not plush because then you really gonna think that these is brave if you used to sleeping on plush mattresses where you just sink to the bottom these are gonna be bricks for you that's just what it's gonna feel like and i immediately was like i don't know how this is gonna go granted i was sitting for the majority of the day but i was getting up to walk around but my feet at the end of the day they do not hurt my toes are fine i got my regular size i got a seven they fit fine if i were to get a seven and a half maybe thick socks but i feel like i could wear thick socks and just loosen up the laces in this one but it'll probably be too tight you know but for the most part on cloud day one they seem fine to me i have no complaints they're actually comfortable my feet do not hurt and it's been eight hours so on hour eight my feet are good okay four more hours we gonna see how we doing here but um i could probably tell you that on saturday how it actually no saturday is not my saturday is my um 10 hour day i mean two more hours what's two more hours but on clouds they are pricey they were for the waterproof ones because i'm in the ed i just chose that one there's the same one that's not waterproof i think it was like 130 and I got waterproof and they were 165, I believe. Take that with a grain of salt. Because my next pair of shoes is gonna be new balances. And those are what 80, 90 bucks. We really gonna test these theory out because clove, you had me, you had me. For nursing school, they had me, but let me tell you. After a while, it wasn't it wasn't gonna cut it for me. Nice shoes, amazing quality. As far as color, you know, it gives you that vers versatility. But just for me, after a while, no. And I don't feel like I should have to rebuy a new pair that quick. Did I have them a year? It's only been a year since I had them. So, I mean, I guess that's how often you. Spoke. That's not even no. How no? I'm not changing out my shoes every year. No, you don't have to. Mm -mm. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, so this is the body suit. Like, like you know, I, I, not too much, not too much. I'm little, not too much. But you know, like, I didn't. I seen the body suit. This is small. Um, I'm part of the big city community and it's doing what it needs to do i mean that zipper went up so that's all that matters it's not gonna combust which is great um but i'm not mad at these jumpers like i might have to get another color black is obviously slimming i don't think i'm gonna do it. I, you know what i'm gonna have to ease on in the red because i'll but this jumper is giving I can wear this to the office tomorrow. Like, I have this orientation packet to look over for my actual unit. And within that, I just have to check out a nurse scavenger hunt. And a quiz. So. Knock that out and get out of here by 1 30. And yeah.
shift is over. Um, it wasn't bad. It was long, but it wasn't bad. Um, a few key takeaways was that my preceptor, I know I told you guys, like, you know, I wasn't too sure about her only because, you know, our introduction wasn't so, it wasn't ba a bad introduction, but it also wasn't a good one. But, um, honestly, it went good. It went good. Um, I think, I'm thinking because she was also new at the time I met her. So maybe like, you know, she didn't know the floor. She was kind of like, um, flustered, um, different varying things that went into it. Her as a preceptor, she was very nice. Um, she was very calm. She explained things to me. Uh, she honestly thought that I was an RN at first. And then I told her, I said, no, you know, I'm an LPN. And she was like, oh my God. Well, that changes everything. She was like, not that much. She was like, I just don't know exactly what to teach you, which is fair. So um, when we went over the, we had a checklist, we went over the checklist and she was like, okay, this, so you can do mostly everything. I just have to initiate certain things. So, you know, it was a learning curve for her. And, you know, um, it was a practicing point for me. We did great together tag team. Um, you know, she, I was actually her first LPN. She's never had an LPN that she's had to teach before. So that was, a, you know, I guess that was a good turning point. She didn't even know that she was having me. I was the preceptee. Like she didn't even know she was teaching anybody. So again, communication. I feel like a lot of preceptors don't know that they're actually preceptors. That's like the common thing, recurring thing that I've seen also um also i've seen that because they don't necessarily know that they're precepting because they don't check their emails and you know it it's probably not only an email thing but you know for me my preceptor is a traveler you know what i'm saying so like I've never, not saying that it hasn't occurred, but you know, travelers usually don't preset, like unless they're internal, she's an ex, she's an external traveler, you know, telling me about hospital policies that she's only been two, three months she's been there, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I have a traveler uh, external traveler precepting me who really doesn't know the policies so it's kind of like you you see not the blind leading the blind but you know what I'm saying so a nurse a nurse is a nurse you know so I'm still happy but it was just I guess whoever can get it whoever can get it at the time but anyway for the most part my shift was good again preceptor grace is given she was great um, I had one patient who was a Karen and her daughter actually was there because her daughter was a um, EMT. So she actually, she knew her mother was a Karen. So she, so to have her there combating that was amazing, but she was a Karen the whole time. Like you couldn't do anything, like anything to her. You're, you know, you're changing her, um, her dressing she's like ouch ouch oh my god like you know you haven't even touched her she's one of those so her daughter mostly was just like I got it guys you guys take care of whatever you need to do take care of I got her and literally that was saving grace um but yeah my camera is getting hot and it's falling so I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna talk to you guys later all right